I can remember, Matthew, when Justin Fields was a valuable fantasy quarterback. Uh, it wasn't last week, but it was a couple of weeks ago. And he headlines quarterback Love Hate with a very favorable matchup against the Detroit Lions. And he's on your love list. Yeah, I mean, Justin Fields, I know it was a tough week last week, but whatever. Now he gets Detroit. We've talked about this game a few times throughout the show. 52 points is the over-under in a game that we expect a lot of points to be scored. And it's great a matchup as it is for Detroit. It's also one for Chicago, right? No team in the NFL gives up more rushing yards to opposing quarterbacks than the Detroit Lions. Six different quarterbacks have rushed for over 40 yards against the Lions, including Justin Fields, who had 147 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns in the first matchup. As you see the footage here on your screen, that game was in Chicago. This game is now in Detroit, in the field, uh, uh, in the dome, on the turf. No team has given up more fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks than the Lions. Field had almost 40 against them in week 10. He's my number four quarterback this week. The only concern is, is he less than 100% healthy? That was some of the concern and reasoning why people thought he didn't run as much last week. But if he's out there healthy for the Bears, he's going to be out there healthy for me. Yep, quarterback on the other side of the field, Jared Goff, coming off his own good game outdoors, now goes into the dome, and he's on the love list as well. He's had over 300 passing yards and multiple touchdowns in three of the past four games, a stretch that includes multiple games on the road outdoors. Now he's back home in Detroit where he's much better. Right in the eight home games that he's played so far this year, he's averaging 21.3 fantasy points per game. Bears have allowed at least 22 fantasy points to three of the last four quarterbacks they face. Jared Goff is a top five play for me this week. Okay, let's go rapid fire through the rest of these guys and start with Aaron Rodgers, who plays the Vikings. Yeah, we talked about it. Vikings have allowed over 300 passing yards in six of the last seven games. Nine of the last 11 quarterbacks to face Minnesota have scored at least 17 fantasy points. Aaron Rodgers should have a big game against his division rival. Feels like he always does well against Minnesota. Okay, let's go. Others receiving votes with Daniel Jones with uh, not necessarily a favorable matchup against the Colts defense, but he should be able to still put up stats. Yeah, 17 fantasy points or more in four of the past six games. You like him against a Colts team that's sort of phoning it in. How about Brock Purdy against the Vegas Raiders? Jared Siddham should uh, put him in good field position. The Niners there are. Uh, Raiders allowing almost 19 fantasy points per game to opposing quarterbacks. That's sixth most in the league. And Mike White, as we've talked about, really like him. He's averaging over 300 passing yards per game in his three starts this year. Seahawks allow passing touchdowns at the fifth highest rate this season. Okay, hate list. Two names, Geno Smith and Justin Herbert. Yeah, Jets have not allowed a multiple touchdown passes in a game since week three. Okay, since week four, only two quarterbacks have scored over 15 fantasy points against the Jets and both had rushing touchdowns. Geno Smith outside my top 15. And Justin Herbert, you're probably still starting him, but you got to be nervous. If you're in the finals, it's despite Justin Herbert, not because of him. One or fewer touchdown passes in six of the last eight games. They've gone really run heavy in the red zone the last couple of weeks as well. 83% red zone rush rate over the last two weeks. That's highest in the NFL. I have Justin Herbert at QB 10. So again, you're probably starting him, but he's more of a floor play than he is an upside play. Just doesn't feel like he's going to throw for a lot of touchdown passes against a Rams defense that's allowed multiple touchdown passes only once in the past five games. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotor World, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.